In a good putting motion, should the putter head swing straight back and straight through, like a lot of people tell you, or is there a different way? Well, today we're gonna flush that out, and I'm gonna open up your eyes to what I think is the best way to move this putter head. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and most people would say, and there's some truth to that, that when we move this putter, it's a pendulum motion, and it's straight back and straight through. But the truth of the matter is, is based on the research and over 25 years of teaching, I think the best putters are gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna give you a drill today on how to do that. And then I'm gonna show you a really new training aid that just came about that I actually love because it really incorporates some of the concepts that we're talking about. So first of all, let's digest this a little bit. When we swing the putter, if we try to swing this putter straight back and straight through, the only way to do that is for you to what I call lengthen the arm. So if you struggle with uh, hitting the ball in the center of the face, or maybe you hit the ball on the top, or maybe sometimes, gosh, you hit the ground first before you hit the ball, this could be why. Pay attention to this part. When we swing the putter, in order to swing that putter straight back and straight through, I have to actually lengthen my arm. So if you watch her on the camera, I got my main man Nick behind the camera there, and you know this already, hey, leave a comment. Tell us where you're from. It's my favorite thing to read every morning of where you're from and what you want us to talk about. Do me a favor and of course ring the bell and tell a friend about us here at US Golf TV. But when I swing this putter, watch the putter head. In order for me to make this go perfectly straight back, I have to lengthen my arm. See that? Let me go ahead and do it from face on here. So I'm gonna move this putter on a perfectly straight line. What's happening to the butt end of the putter? Where's it going? Do you see it? If you see it, put it in the comments. It's moving further away from me, right? Okay, I don't think, I've never seen anybody on TV get up and do this. I see a lot of amateurs do that. Maybe you got some buddies that you play golf with who do that, right? What I see great putters do is they're steady, they're calm, and I think the putter arcs in a little bit and then goes down the line. So what is a drill? Let's talk about a drill that you can do, and then we'll talk about this new cool training aid I wanna show you here today. So the perfect drill, I think, for this, okay, and I talk a little bit about thumbs down in some of our chipping videos. I don't know if you've ever watched those, but thumbs down, some concepts like that. But in this particular drill right here, you're just gonna take your hands, see I put my hands together like that, and I want you to match up your knuckles. Okay, and I like to fold my elbows a little bit. This is one of the core concepts. I got an entire chapter on putting in our new book, The Bad Lie. Okay, we'll put that in. I'll have Nick put that in the descriptions there for you if you want to get that, all right? And uh, not only putting, but chipping, full swing, the whole vertical line swing system. But, all right, if I got those knuckles lined up and I keep them the same distance from my body, where do my hands go? Boom, they go in, don't they? Let me do it from face on here. See this? So this is the drill. You can do this at home. You can do it in the office. You don't even have to use a putter. Matter of fact, when I do it with my students, I generally don't have them use a putter, okay? See that right there? I got my elbows bent a little bit. This is another one of the concepts I teach, all right, in the bad lie, the book there, and the whole system. Boom. Okay, let me just go ahead and roll a putt, all right, and then we'll talk about how we can practice that. So here we go. I'm just gonna try to maintain that same distance between my knuckles and my body. Oh, I made it right into the cup. Nick's smiling because he knew that was the first take that's gonna save him time in the edit room, so he's happy with that. All right, so let me show you this new training. That's the concept. So I believe, let, I believe that the putter swings on a natural arc, and, and if you look at research, you'll see that. The best putters in the world, the putter works in and slightly arcs, and then it works more what I like to call kind of down the line. So this is a new training aid, was just sent to me. It's by Par Perfect Golf. And I gotta give a shout out to one of my old college teammates. He actually designed this because most putting things that you see on the ground, especially mirrors, they promote more of the straight back and straight through. And uh, I just don't think that's the best way to do it. And so when he sent this over, I thought, man, this is different. So I've got it set up here. And let me go ahead and hit another putt. So I got this red line where I can get the putter face nice and square, but there's uh, an arc on here. There's this black kind of shape right here. So I want to keep that putter head in that going back. And that will allow me, now when I do that, go ahead and watch on the camera here, okay? I'm going to move the putter head and keep it inside the lines. Where do my hands work? Okay, they work in and up a little bit. Let's go ahead and hit another putt. Here we go on the arc. Okay, I could tell I pulled that one just a little bit. I caught it up a little bit and shut the face down just a tad, and that's why that one missed a little bit left. But how do the hands look? 
Okay, hopefully they worked a little bit inside. So when we're hitting good putts, all right, the, we want to maintain the distance from the body, the sternum, to the we call it elbows, hands, doesn't matter. I'm using the knuckles as an example. So let's do our three setter. Here we go. You know me, I love my three setters, right? Okay, so we'll do a couple of these. There's one, there's two, there's three. Now let's go ahead and set in, get this lined up, and I'm just gonna have that putter head follow that arc back and through. Oh, that felt good, right pocket. All right, so the concept today, does that putter swing straight back and straight through or does it arc a little bit? You now know the way that the good putters, the greatest putters of all time, move that putter head. This right here is gonna help you make a few more putts.